Y'all saw me pull this straight out the box and this is what we have. This is so cute. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have another wig video and this one is brought to you by the brand Eunice Hair. And this is her on my head, believe it or not. I know y'all know but this is not my hair, but uh, she, you don't see no lace. This was the easiest install I probably have ever done. And I cannot wait to show you the construction of this unit literally blew my mind. So I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting too excited before we get into the video. If you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload, I do hair, nails, makeup, lots of hauls, and some fitness. So everything related to beauty. If you want to see the details of this wig and how easy it was for me to install it, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So the unit I'm reviewing for you today is by the brand Eunice and they sent me this package. They let me choose between a straight bob or a curly bob and it is a v-part wig now i have seen different companies advertise v-parts and u-parts and then when i get them in because i do have a few they the part is u-shaped it's just a cutout for you to leave a leave out of your hair but it's always bigger than what i really want to leave out like i don't want to have to do much with my hair if i'm putting on a wig so i figured i would do the unboxing Instead of doing a voiceover, just do it on camera real quick because this video is going to be short and sweet. Absolutely love how easy these wigs are to install and they're great for people who want something without having to do all the glue and worry about lace and all that stuff. So first thing we're pulling out in the package is this little pouch and I have no idea what this is. Oh, that's cute. So it's an ink pen that has rhinestones on it. This is definitely going in my little desk here. Next, you get a pair of earrings, pair of gold hoops. You can never have enough of those. Oh, okay, they give you a little notepad to use with your ink pen. You also get the barrette with Eunice on the clip in rhinestones, which I don't normally wear those, but it's cute. And then you get another little bag that has some more goodies in it. So they hooked the sister up with this one, not even mad about it. This one has your wig cap and this looks like it is the one that is very thin, which we like. And there's two of them in here. Definitely keeping those. You get a melting band, which we won't need for this one, but I do have other wigs by them that I could use. Ooh, and some big old lashes. <laughs> Y'all know how I always talk about these lashes. That's some big ones right there. One day I'm going to try to put those on. And then I think this is a foundation, not a foundation brush, but like a powder brush. Super, uh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, powder brush. Which I would not use that to put my foundation. Well, maybe if you didn't pull it out all the way, it would be dense enough to be able to do that to put... A little bit of foundation or powder on your lace in the front but we don't need all this for this video so we're gonna jump right in to the hair so this is the package that it came in and this is their super affordable bob v part straight natural hairline wig so i got mine in 10 inches i wanted something that was wearable didn't have to worry about it being too long and in the way and on the box, it does say no gel, no glue V-part wig. Now I did open this and the first thing that got me was this because I have never seen a wig that had the V-part that small. And I am so excited about that. The other thing that caught my eye was normally when it has a V-part, I'm gonna show you all one of my other wigs. It looks, I love how the edges are on this so they're very thin they're not gonna stick up and those are gonna be very easy to hide so even if you had like hair that was thinning a little bit I think this would be a lot easier to wear so I'm gonna show you another U part wig just for comparison so this one is from another brand that I have we ain't gonna say no names 
But look at how this one is constructed at the top. This is a lot thicker. And look how big and wide this is. So there's a lot more leave out space, but it's also wider for you to be able to get it on your head. So I was just really intrigued by this wig and the construction of it because I don't have anything else like this. So this has two combs right here on one on each side and two on the side here. There is a comb here in the back. And then you also have an elastic band that is adjustable and it is, yes, you can remove it. It is not sewn in. So, and you have more combs here on the side and another, <laughs> there's more. And there's another comb, another clip right here in the back. So it's not even in the back. Oh, now this is interesting. Okay. I'm trying to see, I hope you can see through this. You can actually see through the lace right here. I'm trying to give y'all all the details because this is so new to me. You can see through this right here, which I have never had another wig do that. Okay, I can't wait to put this on. So I'm gonna put my hair back and I am gonna wear it as a side part, which might make it sit a little awkward on my head, but that's just because that's my preference. So right now I'm just fixing the adjustable straps in the back. All right, so I have the tiniest little bit of leave out possible and I really think it is gonna be okay because of the construction of this. So let's try this again. I was looking through the description and I don't see where it says the density of the hair, but I do feel like this is more than 130%. So the hair is pretty thick. And of course, all of the models that you see when you go to order it, they're all wearing the unit as a middle part. I do not wear my hair in a middle part ever, ever, not going to ever, not even an option. So if you are like me, you don't have to do that. So don't feel like that is the only way that these can be worn. My face shape and my hairline are not made for a center part. I just started doing it with a wig, so this may end up looking a little asymmetrical, but we're gonna make it work. I'm still just tripping over how thin this is around the edges. Now I'm just gonna leave this over here. Oh, that is very, very silky hair. And we're gonna see if we can cover it because yeah, I do not want, and this gets pushed behind my hair anyway, so we'll be all right. So now let's go ahead and secure the back, which I am just going to put my comb in the back. The adjustable band is on. And we're gonna figure out if we can get these combs. It feels really snug and I don't even have the combs in it yet. Okay, so we have one comb here, put that one in. Like this is blended already and y'all saw how I barely left any hair out of this one. just to make it blend better. I will add a little bit of shine spray just to make it match how shiny the unit is. But we got us a little asymmetrical bob because <laughs> I do not want to wear this in the middle, but I think it's cute. I would probably try to curl this a little bit just to make it more even from how it was sitting in the bag but that's it like look how easy this was and see right here you can see a tiny tiny little bit and i'm trying to get close i don't know if y'all can see that or not there's a tiny little bit showing back there so i need to pull my hair back but even still that is so small because of how they made it like you can barely see that and if somebody's all up on you like that tell them back back 
Yo, I didn't have to do anything to this wig. Like this is straight out the box. I have a little bit of my hair left out in the front. And because my hair is relaxed right now, I did not have to do a lot to straighten it, but we're just gonna pass this to get these flyaways to stay down. And we are good to go. You cannot tell me that is the fastest install you have ever seen. <laughs> I'm going to be rocking this. I can tell you that already. I don't know if I need to run my flat iron. Let me see if I can get this little bump to straighten out. Maybe in the future, I might try to put it a little closer to the center so that it's not so asymmetrical. Let that cool off. Let me show you guys a 360 real quick. Tell me what you think. Would you wear this asymmetrical like that? Or would you feel like you needed to wear it as a middle part? Because I don't feel like I did. just to make it match a little bit more, but you can never ever go wrong with a bob. Y'all saw me pull this straight out the box and this is what we have. This is so cute. Comment below, tell me what you think. Would you wear it? They have this in a curly option too, so if you have a curly hair texture, you can get that. Like I said, very little leave out, so there's not much to do with this wig. I wish I could do more, say more, but when this is what you get, you don't need to, right? So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Eunice Hair, for sending me this wig. She's a gorgeous one, and she is definitely a keeper. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment and let me know, would you try it out? Tell me if you think I should try a different option, a different way to wear it. I love hearing from you guys. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.